Welcome in. Once again, it's another edition of Where the 99 Lead. It's a program about the University of Pikeville, brought to you by the University of Pikeville. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host, and we're joined by students from the University of Pikeville today. It's a special edition as we talk about the UPike Student Social Work Association. Joined now by Ashley Branham, Student Social Work Association President. Good evening. Welcome in. Good evening. Thank you for having us. Ashley, tell me about where you come from, how you arrived at the University of Pikeville, some of your background, and how you became involved in this program. Okay, I am from the mountains. I'm from here in Pikeville. I went to Shelby Valley High School. I graduated in 2009. Um, when I first arrived at Pikeville College, this is when it was Pikeville College, Sure. Um, I, my major was English. Yes. But I was starting to struggle with it a little bit. And I had a friend of mine, um, Lauren, she told me about this class she had taken. It was a social work introduction class. Right. And the professor, she just said she loved the class and the professor was awesome. So I was like, well, I'll take it because I was really struggling and really didn't have a clue on what I was going to do with my life, right. <laughs> what my major would be. Right. So I took the course under Janessa Bowling and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with her. I fell in love with the program, the class. I fell in love with the idea of being able to help people and empower people to make a difference. And that's why I became a social work major. Social work. It's a very important field. Let's talk about your academic standing. What year are you in? I'm a junior. Very close. Mm -hmm. So now you're in your, uh, you finished a lot of your core curriculum now, mm -hmm. and you're heavily involved in your major classes. How's that been? Oh, it's been, it's been tough, especially this semester because I'm in those higher level courses and sure. we got some professors who love to make us rot. Right. <laughs> that is what we're doing. And um, actually some of my friends that will be graduating, they're in their practicum classes, which is where they get to go actually go out in the field and work. And I'll be starting that next year and I'm really excited about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Branham's uh, UPike Student Social Work Association President. We'll talk more. And Brandon Teasley joins us now. Brandon, welcome in. How's it going? It's great. And yes, you're currently enrolled in the practicum courses yes, of the uh, social work program. Let's talk about some of your background. Where you come from and how you arrived at UPike? I come from Compton, California, and I played football, junior college ball. And Coach Holland came out to my school and he recruited me. So, you know, it sounded nice. And he told me it'd be a good uh, academic environment, a good football team. So I gave it a chance. And I got here, and when I got here, I was a criminal justice major. Right. And I spoke with Janessa just like her. It was, it was, she just seemed welcoming, and, and she spoke to me about the things I could really do. And I have a background with social workers, so I felt like I could really make a change by um, switching my major and then going deeper into what I already experienced, and I decided to become a social work major. It uh, can certainly make a difference yes, when sir. you're involved in social work. Let's talk about the differences in Compton, California, oh, and man. Pikeville, Kentucky. Let's talk oh, about the cultural changes before we even talk about <laughs> social work. Let's talk about what a drastic change that it was, is. It was a drastic It's a good change. It's, it's slower here. Sure. You know, and you really get time to really think. You know, in, in L.A., in California, it's real fast, sometimes a little too fast yeah. when you're still in college because, you know, you still need time to really – you know, know what you're doing, you know, uh, uh, you know, learn about yourself. And when you come here, you have a chance to really do that. Then it's a smaller here. So in junior college, it was, you know, 30, 40 of us to one professor here. It's, it's smaller classrooms. You know, it's more of a better relationship with your teachers. You can talk to them. It's better advice. It's just, that's a blessing, I think. Completely different world. Yeah, completely different world. Absolutely. Has it been a good change for you? It has, it has, it has. Where do you plan to go when you finish at the University of Pike? Uh, when I finish here, I want to go work as a probation officer. And that, while I do that, I want to go to grad school and get my master's and then go into uh, be a prison social worker. You plan to work uh, in this area? You plan to head back no, to California? I got to go back home. I, I just had to get right here, slow it down, and then get to, you know, get to know me. But I have to go back home. Look out, California. Brandon Teasley yes, coming home. I'm coming. <laughs> And let's talk about your academic standing. Where are you, where are you now? How close to graduating? May. You ready to go? Yes. He'll be, he'll be wearing the cap and gown. It's, it's close. <laughs> let's uh, talk about the Social Work Association. Uh, first, let's talk about the Social Work Program in general. Both of you started with different majors. And like a lot of college students, don't necessarily know where you're going to go. You're not the only ones that have been there. Uh, my children have started, I started in a different field than where I ended up. So a lot of us do that, but social work, it, it's a very personal field. 
it, it's a field that can make a difference in people's lives. Uh, some fields, you deal with numbers and things like that, and some folks say, well, what difference are you making? Social work, it's very up close and personal. And that change, uh, would you recommend it to someone maybe now that started in a major that they don't feel comfortable in, and is this something they should check out? I recommend it every day. Really? Yes. Um, our program is amazing. We actually just got accredited. Uh -huh. So um, it was a big, that's something big at the school, accreditation for our program. Uh, the social work program, we are such, there's not many of us, and we're always wanting more students, but we are such a close family. Mm -hmm. Like each one of us know each other, and you know, 12 o'clock at night and we're still cramming for tests, we'll call each other, or everyone's over. In the library together and we're just such a close-knit program it's amazing that I found a new family here at right. EPOC and um, what we learn each day in class is just about empowering others and to use their strengths to better their self and when you're learning this it also helps you to know your strengths and how to better yourself right. so I recommend this program to anybody who wants to make a difference because not only can you make a difference out in the community but you can really work on yourself as well and that's the big thing that I love about this program because I'm learning how to better myself each and every day. We're going to talk more about uh, why you chose to go into the field and and maybe some specific stories let's talk about the social work program let's talk about uh, its origins uh, just became accredited mm -hmm. so uh, this is a, a relatively new program that's been going through the process you say there there aren't that many how many students approximately are there uh, involved in the program about maybe 11 well we have like we have probably 30 majors and then we have um, some minors as well sure. but there's probably approximately like 30 to 40 majors but we only have like a maybe 11 or 15 of us that are close, that are, are up the, in them. The SSW program. Yeah, up in the higher levels. And mm -hmm. we actually... Um, a lot of pre-majors. Yeah, we have a lot of pre-majors too. And you got to apply to be in the program. So I'm always on all the freshmen to apply to the program that take the course because I always want to see more faces. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Ashley Branham, you're the president of the Student Social Work Association. We want to talk more about that as we talk about the social work program. Let's talk about some of those classes you've taken. You mentioned the introduction class mm -hmm. that, that you had that really grabbed you and, yes. and it really drew you to the program as a whole. Let's talk about some of the other classes in the social work program. Right now I'm currently um, enrolled in a practice class. It's practice three and it's community uh, based class where we learn about how we can better the community. And actually our class just did a project where we helped rewrite the bylaws for Judy's Place. Very nice. Yes. Judy's Place for Kids. Yes. And it's an, that is an awesome agency. And um, they were needing some help on updating their bylaws. And our professor thought it would be a good idea to get us involved in that. And we all had separate sections of the bylaws that we helped rewrite. Sure. And that was an experience. We got to go over and tour the agency and learn about you know what they do. And beforehand, I really had no clue what they do. And um, now I like I love it. And I hope to do my practicum there. Let's talk more about what Judy's Place for Kids does. It's an advocacy center, and it helps children who have been uh, abused right. or sexually abused, and they can come there. It's not a home where they can stay all night. I know sure. a lot of people assume that. Before, I thought it was an orphanage. I had no clue. Right. <laughs> and um, But uh, the kids can go there and seek medical treatment, talk to a therapist, and they just really help the families out with the whole process of the court system and stuff like that. It's a really good place and it's so homey there. It's so colorful and it's just a good place to go. A safe place. Yes, a very the, safe place. For those place. kids. Uh, Ashley Branham, UPike student, also Brandon Teasley, part of this edition of Where the 99 Lead. Where the 99 Lead, it's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville. We talk about those historic 99 steps that lead to the University of Pikeville campus, but they also lead back from campus into the community and into our world. They may, may even take a UPike graduate from Pikeville, Kentucky, back to Compton, California. Speaking with Brandon Teasley, uh, you're in the practicum course. You've been involved in the social work program. The Let's talk about some of the classes. Let's um, talk about some of the classes you've had. The class Ashley you fell in love with the introduction <laughs> class. That grabbed her. She's talked about a practice course. Uh, let's talk about some of the old other courses, maybe some that aren't so exciting. 
some of the I boring the, classes the they're ethics, part of the deal. The ethics class that I'm in right now, that's one I'm really enjoying because you learn so much. You know, it's uh, you make decisions based on societal values that you don't really you don't notice until you're brought to your attention. Right. And you know, so many decisions you make are, are based on your upbringing when they really should be based on the circumstances and the situations. And it's just it's just so in, so intense to me how how different this class is. Dealing with ethics in yes. situations that you may encounter mm -hmm. as you leave the University of Pikeville and land in real world social mm -hmm. work. You talk about the practice class when you're dealing with an organization like Judy's Place for Kids. What are some of the other types of organizations that you've studied about that maybe you've encountered through the social work program? Uh, well, last year, our last semester, me and Brandon both were enrolled in a practice two class where we went to West Care, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, we it was a it's a group based um, class like we learn how to work with groups and um, we actually got to run a group therapy session over there, mm -hmm. and it was an educational based therapy session. And, and the, the people there were they were coming from alcohol abuse and drug sure. abuse, and we were just helping them. To become back functionable in society, and it was it was it was very fun to do just to help. That was inspiring. That level. So much. It was. What age group do you deal with at West Care? We did with uh, mid twenties. Mid twenties. So these are these are young people. They were very close to that, our age. That are very close to your age. Mm -hmm. How were you received there by the by the folks at West Care? Um. I thought when we first went over there that they would kind of take us as a joke uh -huh. when we ran the group and um, sometimes they did get a little laughy at us and they could tell that we were super nervous but sure. by the end of we went over there for I think maybe eight weeks because mm -hmm. each of us got a turn to run a group each right. week and by the end of the week they loved us like they knew our names and they were talking yeah. to us and well, they respected us is the big thing sure. and that was that's and they trusted us too and that's something hard for you know these people who don't know us to come in and talk about their problem to us and to earn their trust was just very uplifting absolutely as you encounter those situations you will encounter those in social work situations uh, in many different fields uh, when you go into the real world you you talk about uh, drug abuse and alcohol abuse and um, as you work with West Care uh, you leave that program you guys obviously still in the program. What about some other people? Is it something that's so intimidating or is it something maybe that students realize this is not going to be for me and you see folks leave the program? Um, I actually have a friend who ran a group over at West Care and it didn't go as well as she had planned right. and she was really rethinking her whole decision on a social work major. But social work is so broad that it offers so many different jobs that you can you know do and so many different fields you can go into that you know we all sit and talk to her you know maybe this is just not the exact thing that you should do but there's other plenty of other things where you can make a difference and still be enrolled in the program sure. the program itself is very intimidating because you can either work with groups of people or you can work with one-on-one -on -one. and the great why it's so intimidating is because you have to it's demanding yes and you have to make this person trust you enough to talk to you about their problems right. and that's very very intimidating because I know how hard it is to trust people and you know you can only imagine how hard it is for someone to trust you enough to tell you their problems. And you talk about West Carey, you talk about Judy's Place for Kids, there are situations that don't automatically gain trust either. Exactly. That trust may have been broken because of many different reasons that they've encountered before they've even met you. We're talking with uh, of course Ashley Branham, the Student Social Work Association President and Brandon Teasley. He's a, a member of the social work program at the University of Pineville. We talk about the so, social work program at the University of Pineville. And, uh, guys, quickly, uh, let's have a 90-second answer, okay, from each of you here. And the question would be, why would you and why should someone choose to go into social work as a profession? Do you want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. I mean, it's a profession that allows you to truly help people. You're going to make a difference in their life. I mean, coming from where I'm from, dealing with social workers, it was a difference between not wanting to do anything and then still believing you can still go on. Because when you're in foster systems or, or, you know, things of that nature, you need someone to really be able to talk to and to trust. And with that, the ability that a social work degree gives you, you can really be that person. If someone's not a people person, 
this is probably not a field for them. It's not. <laughs> Absolutely. Ashley? Um, I am a people person. Yes. <laughs> and I think that's obvious. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I decided, and someone else should decide, if you really want to make a difference in the world and in this community, and I'm from here and these mountains mean everything to me, so I want to make a difference in my community and help better my community. And I kind of have that mother tendency to where I want to take care of everybody. And uh, that's something that really like intrigued me to do it because I want to help. There you go. Ashley Branham, Brandon Teasley, students at the University of Pikeville in the social work program. Now let's talk about the Student Social Work Association at the University of Pikeville. Ashley, you're the president of that organization. And first, before we go any further, what does the organization do? Um, our organization is a student association that is um, mostly made up of majors and even if you're not a major you can still join and what we try to do is as students make a difference in the community and do different um, things within the community to help and uh, that's really what our program is all about is helping out in the community. What are some of the activities that the uh, Student Social Work Association has done in the past? Um, well, we're really big on Awareness Month, like yeah. Child Abuse Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Domestic Violence and, Awareness um, Month. We've done candle uh, visuals. We've done mm -hmm. a balloon release. We've had um, Teasley read some poems yeah. in the done poems. courtyard. Uh -huh. And um, now, uh, recently, we just did a couple, a bunch of us did a walk for the homeless shelter mm -hmm. over here in Pikeville. And uh, when we were there, we, um, we had the option of taking a tour. So we took the tour, and it really... Like it really hit home to some of us and it really you know wanted us to make a difference there so our new project is we're going to do stockings for the homeless and we're going to bring stockings of some of the stuff that uh, they need over there for they I think they have 11 people there right now so right. and those yeah. numbers fluctuate obviously yes. at the homeless shelter let's talk about real-world situations that you've encountered in activities now because during the course of this program already we've talked about Judy's Place for Kids mm -hmm. with abused children. We've talked about West Care which deals with uh, drug and alcohol abuse uh, recovering patients, mm -hmm. uh, recovering uh, people who, who are going through that process and now you've talked about the homeless shelter. Uh, at your age I'm not sure I knew that a lot of these problems even existed. I wasn't sheltered I just didn't care. I was involved in my own world and what was going on in my life and what my focus was on and I'm not sure that I even realized that those were. Before you were involved in this situation and in this program, did you realize that these were out there? No. I had no clue. I had no clue that we had a homeless shelter. Right. I had no clue that we had homeless people here in Pikeville. Sure. I just figured we were all family oriented that someone just stayed with their family. I didn't know we had a homeless shelter. Right. I didn't know that we had um, a mental health facility until my mom started working there. And that's how I knew about that. And still, you know, her working there, I really didn't know what they did. Right. And um, like Judy's place, I thought it was an orphanage. Like I really was so clueless and so blind to what was around us and the problems, especially in our area was. And it's shocking because you know you like you consider like this being your home and you just think you don't have these problems right and but you think that where he's from I'd be like oh they definitely you know have some problems because he's not from here right. <laughs> so but we do we do have these problems we do have homeless people and we do have people that need our help and um, I'm just glad I can be a part of that now Ashley obviously we are a little sheltered here in eastern Kentucky and Appalachia we're, we're sheltered from some of those things and uh, there are families involved and when those situations arrive, uh, arise, uh, families may take those in. Compton, California. Yes, sir. You've encountered homeless people before, I would yes. imagine. We have cities of them. Uh, we have a city called Skin Row. It's like a mini city where they have forts and boxes and they all live. So I've seen it growing up, the sure. corners, pet handlers. So I've seen it. Um, I knew it was there. It's just I never knew like what I could do to change it. Right. I didn't know how to do that, and social work helped me with that, that's why. A little different, the educational process for you, yes. not that it exists. You do that, mm -hmm. but what I can do to help, mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about. The UPike Student Social Work Association, uh, you also have a research project. Mm -hmm. What's the research project, and how did you come, a come upon a research project that you wanted to participate in? 
Well, actually, it's his practicum class that came up with the project. And um, as the Student Social Work Association president, they introduced it to me and were talking to me about it and seeing what the association could do, what our organization could do to help them. And it's a community-based needs project. And what they did... Um, Basically, we sent out letters asking businesses in the community how we could help them help the community. Right. So um, the letters, and when we sent out the letters, we got two back. We had Mount Comp and we had Appalachian Hospice. And so their needs were a couch for Mount Comp and then Appalachian Hospice. They really want to advertise them because they're really not getting the, the um, really the media they need to help because and they offer so many good resources such as helping with the families and and. And after the um, person dies, and they offer these resources to people that no one knew about. And right. I am recently an employee at Mount Comprehensive Care Center, and uh, they need a couch for their TRP program, and that's a therapeutic rehabilitation program. And it's for people that have learning disabilities or um, mental disorders. They come there and they help them learn daily activities, you know, how to cook, how to manage a checkbook, sure. and they're in, and they're such wonderful people. I love them, and they're so friendly, but they need a couch right now, and uh, so I, as a class mm -hmm. and as an organization, we're trying to come up with those funds to get them a couch. All right. Ashley Branham, the Student Social Work Association President at the University of Pikeville, Brandon Teasley. Uh, a member of that program as well and uh, a senior who will graduate in May from the University of Pikeville. Okay, there's the research project. You found out uh, some needs in our area mm -hmm. with Appalachian Hospice and uh, uh, also with Mountain Comprehensive Care. It's a couple of organizations that many of us and of course our viewers may or may not have heard of, may, have, may or may not have known the problems that exist. Now they've been identified. What does the UPIC Student Social Work Association plan to do to, to fill those needs? Um, we plan on fundraising. Uh, we plan on... Um, advocating, a lot of advocating um, out in the community, on the internet, just ways to, to let people know the problems that are occurring. Any fund, fund uh, raising going on now? Um, not at the moment because well, we just got these letters back in and stuff, but um, I'm sure that we're going to be coming up with ways to fundraise uh, for this couch. I would really love to have this couch for them for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, they're such wonderful clients there, and um, I'd really like to see them get that couch for Christmas. We may make a plea before we wrap up this program today and try to get that done. <laughs> okay. How about we do that? We can do that. <laughs> it's Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville where we talk about all things regarding the University of Pikeville. We cover athletics, we cover academics, we cover all different types of programs and majors. And today we talked to a couple of UPike students. It's my pleasure to bring you students today because uh, it's always great to talk to the students. We talk to faculty, we talk to administrators, we talk to staff at the University of Pikeville, and, and sometimes we get their perspective, and we don't get it from a student's perspective. I want to talk about that a little today as well. We talk about the social work uh, association by the students out there working in the, the world today, trying to make a difference. That's what social work is all about, making a difference in lives one at a time, or in group sessions, uh, as you've already talked about. Let's talk about the University of Pikeville for just a moment. Uh, Brandon, you arrived on campus when? 2010. What kind of changes have you seen at the University of Pikeville oh, since then? A lot of changes. There's there's more students. There's more buildings. Uh, it's just the academic environment is a lot better. I like it. Um, our social work program has become accredited. There's just so many things. Sure. We've become a university. There's just so many things occurring. Are these all positive changes? All positive changes. Ashley, you are a 2009 graduate of Shelby Valley. Mm -hmm. And I come in at 2010 as well. I'm just a year behind because I changed my major. <laughs> what's it, what's, what are the differences like in classrooms at the University of Pikeville? Because we, we've heard from town, from the community, looking up the 99 steps to campus, we see the changes taking place. We see more cars in the garage. We see parking issues. Hi. We see dorms going up. We see the coal building going up. We don't see the inside of classrooms typically, mm -hmm. but what's the environment like in the classrooms now as compared to when you first arrived? Uh, when I first arrived, I thought that the classrooms were very just cold and distant. Like we wasn't as close 
And, uh, of course, I was a freshman and sophomore when before all these changes really started happening, and I was nervous, but it just didn't seem – I honestly thought about switching schools because it just didn't seem like home. Sure. It just seemed so just shut down and just cold. But as um, as the university has grown and as the school has grown, I love our classrooms. We are, I mean, the professors will joke around with us. When they see us out, they'll know us by name. Um, we're such a close-knit group. And I'm not saying that just in a social work program, but our whole school. Sure. Like professors that I don't even have you know, know my name and talk to me and ask me how I'm doing. And um, it's just home now. Like, we're just one big family at U Pike. Even with the growth in enrollment, mm -hmm. uh, they still know your name. Yes. It's still, it's still family. There. It's still home. The University of Pike, but we talked today about the Student Social Work Association. Ashley Bra uh, Branham, president of that organization. Sounds like a great organization. How long has it been around? Um, I'm not really Before sure. Before we got there. Okay, Before so it's we been got around there. a little while. Yeah. yeah. You take on projects, you're out in the community, you're involved, you're doing research yes. on what needs are out there in community-based uh, organizations. Uh, what's next? Um, I would I honestly like more people to join our pro, to join our organization. Sure. That's one thing that's the hardest, and I know that we have tons of athletes, and it's hard you know, to work around their schedules and stuff. And, but I just want people to know about our association and about the organization and what we do and that we're not just, you know, always in the books or always doing something serious. So we have fun and yes. like the walk for the homeless shelter, it was so much fun. Like we just had a ball and we have fun with these people and if people could just realize that there's more fun than the typical college party in life and that you can find happiness out by just helping these people then sure. They'd really want to join. And these are people that aren't in Compton, California. These are people that were, yeah. are within a mile of the University mm -hmm. of Pikeville campus. Exactly. And, yes. and uh, I think a lot of folks in our community, we have, may, may have viewers and listeners today that may not have realized there was a homeless, homeless shelter mm -hmm. here in Pike County, uh, but there are homeless people. And, yes. and I think when you guys get to visit and take a tour, you realize these are faces. These mm -hmm. aren't just numbers. Someone says there's 11 families or 11 children or whatever, but these are actual people. These are faces that you encounter. That's family. It makes a difference, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, we actually met a guy. I met a guy. He had um, he had got here from Florida, and uh, the homeless shelter bought him a ticket to go back from Florida. And he told me that he told him that just to you know take it back because he loved these mountains and he loved the people here and how nice we were and. That just really shocked me because being from here, you know, sometimes you're like, wow, would anybody want to stay here, you sure. know? <laughs> and, uh, but he just opened up my eyes to how awesome my home is and how beautiful these mountains are and how I should be proud to be from here. And Absolutely. I am very proud. And as the, um, of course, the practical course goes on, you're out there. Uh, you're doing research. You're finding needs. And uh, there are a lot of needs in our community, and mm -hmm. I think it's a great organization trying to meet those needs one at a time. And uh, great work. It, it's, it, it's exciting for me to see students, uh, UPIC students, involved in the world and trying to make a difference, uh, whether it be one at a time or one organization at a time. And uh, it's been our pleasure today to have you on the program. Ashley Branham, president of the UPIC Student Social Work Association, and Brandon Teasley, a future graduate Graduating in May, yes, heading sir. back to Compton, California, You're going to make a difference there. Yes, sir. It's been our pleasure to have you on this edition of Where the 99 Lead. Good luck in your future. Thank you. And Ashley, you as well. Thank you. You've been tuned to Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville, where we talk about all things regarding the University of Pikeville. Today, the Student Social Work Association. Ashley Brandon, President, and Brandon Teasley. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host.